disorder here, uh, canceling the mutas, getting mass uh, infestors, fungal growth is going to be huge against these balls of marines and marauders. Central Fugal Hooks also being evolved out of the uh, the Baneling Nest as well. Two bunkers here and a small squad of Marauders and Marines are all that stand between the Terran player and certain defeat here. I really think the Zerg is in a commanding position. Gonna use this back route. This is something Terran players really hate on this natural. The Baneling's just walking in normally and Select pulls away his SCVs just in the nick of time. Oh, right there. Could have lost a lot of his SCVs. Uh, he just kind of had them holding position there. Select there at the very last second, gets his SCVs out, and avoids certain economic doom. Uh, now Lelesh morphing in more Banelings income, still relatively even for both players, but Lelesh is not macroing drones at all. He's actually going very offensively here. He is looking like he's going to attack once again. His forces look like they're about to pounce, and I think Lelesh is going to go in for one more attack. Uh, he's just got to break down these two bunkers. I really think he has a larger army, 97 supply compared to 88, so he has an advantage. There's actually three bunkers here and a small squad of Marines and Marauders. Fungal Growth and the Banelings are going to be key to demolishing this force. Will Lelesh be able to land it? He's walking in right now with his Lings in front. Is he gonna get a Fungal Growth down? Is it gonna come? There it goes, the poisonous Fungal Growth landing down and the Banelings rolling in and slapping everything to hell. The tank also getting killed off and now we have a bunch of infested Terrans spawning as well. Look at the APM for Lelesh. It is at 400 APM. His infested Terrans come out. They are very, very strong. They do a lot of damage. They're actually focusing down the orbital command. Is the orbital command gonna get taken down? Laylash here, your infested Terrans are about to die. They're expiring. It looks like the SCV is trying to run away, and the orbital command is getting focused. It is in the red. Select not noticing his orbital command could burn to death, and he finally brings his SCVs to repair. Meanwhile, Morlings, Laylash keeping the relentless Zerg assault on. This has been one of the best ZVTs I have casted in my entire casting career. Oh my goodness, so many spells being casted. A 400 APM relentless Zerg attack on the on Select's natural. Select, so close to losing here. Can he hold on? Will Terran Resiliency hold out? Is his skill good enough to deflect these Lings and Roaches? It is a very, very close game. Another Fungal Growth, and his back is about to break. I think Lelesh will take this game. There is nothing for Select. He has absolutely no units except four Marines and a tank. Uh, oh my goodness, somehow he reestablishes some semblance of order at the Terran Natural, but Lelesh about to attack for like the 10th time today. He's got more Infestors coming. Uh, I would like to see Lelesh get a natural down, a third expansion down, excuse me, soon rather than later, but uh, he really can't afford to. He's just playing so aggressively. He wants to kill the Terran right now. He can smell victory. There comes the third, so he is going to be getting an expansion, so he's looking very very strong this game. Here comes the next next attack. Focusing down the bunker first. There is a tank though in the way of certain victory for Laylush. Will Laylush be able to focus the tank down? The Roach is here getting in range. They are gonna t attack the tank and the tank gets taken out. Laylush here could try to fungal growth the, the SCVs and there we go. Great fungal growth. Are the SCVs gonna die? They're in the orange. They're in the red. They're going down but oh, the fungal growth wears off at the last possible second. Oh my goodness, I am really running out of breath, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a continuous five-hour broadcast. I don't know how much more I've got left in the tank, but uh, I, for me at least, and I'm surprised Lelish has this much in the tank to play so well. Considering he's lost to the two first games, he's been playing so well, he's playing so aggressively, but Select has been holding on to this front door. He is just not giving up. His motto is never die, never die Select. I mean, he's just been hanging on with, by a thread, by a hair, getting a tank here, a couple marines, a couple bunkers here or there, and he's been keeping his forces alive just barely. So you gotta commend the Terran player here as well, but he is rapidly running low on minerals. He just ran out of the main. He's only mining out of the natural. Same story for the Zerg, just ran out of the main, only mining out of the natural, but nope. Scratch that, Laylush does have a base over here at his third expansion, so he is looking very strong. Two base Zerg versus one base Terran. I think the outcome of this game is certainly decided. A fourth hatchery going up as well. The Zerg player maintaining absolute map control. He is ruling it with a dominant iron fist over the Terran uh, select here. Definitely in a lot of trouble. Let's check those upgrades. 1-1. 
for the Marines, tanks at 0-0, uh, upgrades for the Zerg forces, meanwhile, 0-0, so no upgrades whatsoever for the Zerg ground. And here we go, Select is going to be pushing out. Let's take a look at his army food count, 110 supply compared to the Zerg's 93. Huh, Zerg actually a little bit low on income, uh, but there we go, double fungal growth on those Marines. Marines are all going to get taken down there getting whittled away all oh, the marines barely survive with one hp these marines all have one hp oh no that is so gut-wrenching to lose two infestors to cast two spells only for the marines to all escape with one health one health select here that disease was absolutely contagious but was not fatal <laughs> select there barely keeping his marines alive Great play from both these players. This definitely the best ZVT I've casted in my entire casting career. Look at those banelings burrowing like a trap right there. Uh, Keeping are the is this burrow on autocast? I can't actually tell, but you can put banelings on autocast. Kind of acts like the hold position lurker from Brood War. Uh, very very deadly if Marines d decide to trespass or tread over that territory. And it looks like Select is still playing on one base, so he is very much running low on resources here. You guys can see 800 minerals per minute to 1,200, 122 supply. Oh, excuse me, there was a drop here from these two dropships. I did not catch that. Looks like Laylush did, though, and he gets his Infested Terrans over there. Gonna counter this entire drop. I don't think he lost any of his Harvesters. No, he didn't. Still has 48 over 43. Good play to deflect that dropship attack at the very last possible second and using infested terrans because he really has no anti-air except for infested terrans which surprisingly believe it or not are quite good uh, now we have Laylesh going up to Hive Technology, so he is going to finally tech up. Select here pushing out. He Notice he has no dropships to even heal these Marines, so they've been at one life this entire time, hanging on to life by a thread. There are Banelings burrowed around this map, and this is where Zer can play some psychological warfare against the Terran. Burrow Banelings, oh, but a Comsat goes down, and uh, looks like Laylesh, oh no, he's going to lose his Infestors here. Select going to push forward with two Marauders and pick a lot of them off. Good play from Select, good control and Micro. I was going to say Select needs to do something about these Infestors because these little buggers have been the MVP all game long, although that one just died. They have been really, really good. They've been uh, holding the Terran at bay, keeping him from pushing out. Select still does not have a third expansion up. Uh, is Select going to walk over these Banelings though is the next question I want answered very, very close right there. Notice Laylush controlling his Banelings so he knows that he can explode his Banelings at any time, unburrow them and pop them on the Marines. It looks like Select wants to secure his gold expansion. Uh, push out from Laylush, gonna get a fungal growth down. Very tense battle. Both players trying to decide who's gonna win this game. Keep in mind if Select wins, he will be the winner of the TL Open, but it doesn't look very good. It looks very grim indeed. If Select can s establish this gold expansion, then he's got a chance to win this game. Select gonna push out with a small strike force, attacks his hatchery, takes it down. Um, and he's positioning to try to secure this gold expansion. If he can get that up, then I think he's right back in this game. Because right now the Zerg is only mining off of two, and this gold expansion can really be a big boon to the otherwise depressing economy of Select. 43 Harvesters, under 50. Massive battle, massive game here so far. Uh, just so much action-packed, intense uh, micro battles all over the map. Looks like Select is going to drop off with two dropships down to the south and try to make a strike attack. I'm not sure where this is going. Zerg getting a gold expansion. Want to see that APM once again. Very high APM game from both these players. It looks like the dropships have decided to fall back and said, Oh, Marines walking over the Banelings. Banelings popping out. That's what I wanted to see. Zerg player unloads and pops the trap card. And that plays a mental game against Select because now he's thinking, Oh, crap. Where else are there burrowed Banelings? I'm going to have to get a Raven now. Or I'm going to have to burn Comsats if I want to move out. So that is psychological warfare at its best. The Swarm using their evolved uh, overmind intelligence, whatever you want to call it, to play effectively in this game. Now, uh, the Zerg is still on two bases. He's trying to get the gold up. Massive battle here. Infestors using fungal growth. Banelings rolling in and taking out the Terran army. But uh, in the meantime, there is a Marine drop force up here. Uh-oh, if Laylush loses this hatchery, he might be in trouble. He does have, oh, he's got five Ultralis on the way, though. Ultra is so, so good against everything. But Laylush is going to lose this hatchery. I think he's still in this game. Maybe. He needs this gold expansion. He needs to bring all of his Harvesters over to that gold. It's going to be one gold versus one gold. That's going to be the name of this game. It's very low econ game at this point in, in, in the uh, battle for whoever's going to win on Zelnaga Caverns. Marauders pick off the drones as they may not away from that that expansion that just died to this drop force 
Now, we do have the ultra list. They have finally popped out. The Zerg army has evolved to the final tier of technology. Uh, Laylush right now needs to get all his income over to this gold. Laylush at 104 supply. The Terran at 140. Oh my goodness. Select has just had this gold for a much longer time. He's been able to bulk up a larger army. And he's gonna... Uh, uh, Laylush GG's! Laylush GG's out of this game. He GG's and says... It takes a Korean to play proper Zerg versus Terran. He GG's out, even though he had five Ultras. But honestly, he he was down to one last expansion. The Terran was as well. But the Terran was mining this for such a longer time that, I don't know, he had a lot of Ultras. Maybe he could have taken this battle, but keep in mind, he was at 104 food. The Terran was at 142. Select wins! 3-0! He just completely demolished, wiped the floor. He took Laylish's face and scrubbed it everywhere and said, uh, thanks for making my kitchen clean, buddy. Because, wow, what a, what a butt kicking from Select. 3-0! He is the winner of the TL Open number 2. An incredible Zerg versus Terran. But let's talk about Laylish, guys. Laylish played so well. He played ultra-aggressive Zerg style. I'm actually not even sure if he was out of this game. He had a lot of ultras. Maybe he could have made something happen. Uh, I, I really think he wasn't a, a, exactly out of it. Uh, it would have been one gold to one gold, but definitely Select had the advantage as he was mining this for a longer time. He took out all the hatcheries. Uh, but what an intense game. This this natural right here was attacked so many times. Lelish played so aggressively. But anyways, I digress, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I am so exhausted right now after casting these these games. All, I've casted the semifinal A, semifinal B, and the finals all in a row. And I'm looking out the window. The sun is coming out. So I'm about to go to sleep. Even though the sun's coming out, I'm super tired. I Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed these broadcasts. Um, and if you guys like what you see, please do subscribe. Hit that yellow button. Tell your friends. And stay tuned because we've got a lot more HD broadcasts to come in the near future. Thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. And uh, see you guys around the corner. HD, signing out. Good night.